beneficial. It, it's beneficial when you're importing and exporting the same product. But as I said, uh, there's several different types of drawback. Um, we're going to talk today about uh, unused merchandise drawback and manufacturing drawback. Uh, there's other types. There's rejected merchandise drawback, and there is a statute for petroleum derivative drawback, um, which if anyone has questions on those, I'm happy to take them, uh, or you feel free to email me uh, after the webinar. I'll leave it up to you. But um, we get this question a lot, and um, I'll – I'll let you lead the charge on this one is uh, how do I know if my company is really going to benefit? Like, is there a benchmark number that says, you know, if you think you can save X number of dollars in a year, yeah, it's probably worth it to go look at a uh, duty drawback. That's a question we get all the time is before I go down this road of, uh, of hiring you or going to a customs attorney, just give me your gut take. Do you think it's worth it? Uh, you know, that depends on the company, and you really have to run the numbers. Um, and you can go back. Mm -hmm. So, two things to keep in mind. How long have I been exporting this? How long do I, how, how far back do I think I have viable drawback claims? Um, and, you know, like you said, Adam, your, your fees are generally a percentage of the recovery. So, you generally won't lose money. Um, and then going forward, if you... Are go if you still think you're going to continue to export, you know, it will pay for itself because those are fees that you will continue to collect as you export. No, absolutely. And so what, what we like to tell people is if we're getting ready to do that look back period, right, trying to go back, if you're not getting a check, 10, 15, $20,000 that first time around, it's probably not worth it because the amount of time and energy it's going to take to really get all that record keeping to kind of do that one time waiver of prior notice, right? Like there, there needs to be a substantial win there. Um, but, and that's going to depend upon the company, right? You know, if it's, you know, if I'm a smaller company, a, a $10,000 figure might mean more to me. Absolutely. Bigger company. No, absolutely. Um, and, and so to, to me, that's always kind of where, if you're not getting that kind of money back, it's not that we won't file it. It's just that we say, you know, this is going to take a lot of work as you start to look through all of this. Do you think it's worth it or not? And you're exactly right. It's very much a case by case, business by business decision um, as, as far as what does that look like?